I was a, a journalist for 10 years, nine years. That's how I knew Scott Sapelsa. I worked in Rochester, Minnesota, Omaha, Des Moines, and, and then Minneapolis, is, which is where Scott and I met. And then when I was almost 30, decided to go to film school, um, which is, is a whole other story. But um, uh, going to film school, I coming out of there at Columbia, New York, I desperately wanted to make independent film, like smaller mm-hmm. independent yeah. film, which along the scale of maybe Cedar Rapids or something like that. And the animation thing I kind of stumbled into in a weird way where I had written this this R-rated comedy that never got made, um, but it, that was my sample script. And someone at Disney read it, and it was about... It was about a kid that sells porn when he's in seventh grade. <laughs> and, um, uh, you know, which is the last thing you would think someone at Disney would go, oh, yeah, teenage porn dealer. That's, that's, a, great, that's a great Disney film. <laughs> However, they, they liked uh, um, the characters and the comedy and sort of there was an earnestness, even though it was an R-rated thing, the earnestness of the characters and the, uh, I guess, truth of the Mm -hmm. character, if you will. And from that, we're like, well, maybe you would actually be a fit with with this guy, Rich Moore, who had been a Simpsons director and has sort of a left-of-center sensibility as well. And Rich and I met and really hit it off and, you know, had a lot of the same reference points in terms of the the work we loved, both animated and, and live action and just comedians and stuff like that. And so, and I was a huge fan of so much of the stuff he had done at the Simpsons and then he did Futurama as well. So I was, I was a big fan of the animation he had done. And, um, you know, we sort of then started working together and cooked up the idea for Wreck-It Ralph. Oh, fantastic. So, weird way of getting into yeah. Disney, you know, in that I wasn't a super fan. I was, you know, again, admired, especially a lot of the early films, but um, I wasn't like a huge, you know, I was in my early 20s in the in the kind of the second golden age when when the musicals in the in the 90s came came out. So I wasn't rushing to see those. Um, I mean, I'd seen them, but they weren't my favorite films by any means. And so you know, we were kind of coming at 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 the Disney thing from a from an outsider approach in a weird way. 